sexual activists, when they wanted to overhaul straight America, part of their very deliberate strategy, and they put this in writing, it wasn't like it's a secret, they said, keep the eyes of Americans off what it is that homosexuals do when yeah. they come together. Don't let them think about that. Don't talk about it. Keep the, uh, the topic of conversation as far away from that as you possibly can, because if people start thinking about what it is we actually do when we come together, it's going to gross them right out, and we'll never even get uh, to, to first base. So they, they, they <laughs> understand that there is a, a visceral reaction, that uh, a visceral moral reaction that most people have to that kind of sexual activity because it yeah. is deviant behavior, and they understand that they don't want people don't want people even thinking about it. First of all, I think you just made that whole thing up. So some gay group was like, we need to make sure people don't know we're having sex. Really? Point me to the document. Tell me where. I I'd love to read it. I'm sure it's an interesting read, but it I'm sure it also doesn't exist. Look, have you ever seen the gay pride parade? There's dudes walking around in assless chaps. There's dudes, uh, you know, painting, painting themselves in body paint, wearing almost nothing. There's dudes uh, oiled up in baby oil. I don't think they're exactly trying to hide the fact that uh, they might, behind closed doors, do what almost everybody does behind closed doors, right? And then look at the way he phrased it, too. He was like, yeah, you know, they thought we can't let anybody see this or else we won't get to first base. Interesting choice of words there, Brian. Have you thought about going to first base with, I don't know, a man you know? Mm. Pretty sure you have, buddy. And then uh, the part where he's just obviously wrong and he's making it up is, oh, people have a visceral moral outrage to, to gay sex, right? Now, look, I got to keep it real, man. You guys know I'm straight. So do I have a visceral reaction in the sense that I don't want to see two men having sex? Yes, I do, right? That doesn't make me a bad person. It's just my sexual preference. But at the same time, does that mean that I therefore want to impose my opinion on every gay person in the world and say that they're not allowed to have sex? Oh, they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. I just don't want to see it right in front of my face, right? So the only visceral reaction I have is just a natural straight guy visceral reaction of, okay, I'm not into gay sex, so I don't want to see it. But there's definitely no visceral moral outrage. In fact, the visceral moral feeling I get is against idiots like Brian Fisher, who want to uh, try to criminalize acts that uh, are just based off his opinion. I don't like it, therefore it should be illegal. No, but that's stupid. And then he would counter by saying, oh, my God doesn't like it, therefore it's illegal. What God? You don't know that a God exists. You're making it up. Your God very well might not exist. Or it might be Buddha. Or it might be the God of Hinduism or Jainism or whatever, right? By the way, I don't think any of them exist. I think it's pretty clear that none of them exist. But look, that's my point, is that you can't prove it, so why should we believe you? Yeah, just trust me. No, I don't want to trust you any more than I want to trust anybody else. I, I, look, I don't, I don't know, man. The, the one thing I keep coming back to with Brian Fisher, because I'm sure it's true, is it, they've done studies. If you are anti-gay, it is much more likely that you are gay. And there's a confluence of events. It also, in some of the studies, they say, and you also have to come from a conservative household where your parents are anti-gay, and then you get the feelings of anti-gay, and you push yourself in the closet because you feel like, why do I have these feelings? And, and you lash out against it and you try to prove to your parents, yeah, I hate gays, ah, it's horrible, which why they act out and they're so vocal about it. Man, somebody in, in the chat section said it the best, man. Brian Fisher can't go 20 minutes without thinking of men having sex.